What instruments in this room ended up making it on the record? Let's talk through this. Just talk. point at one, all of them. Wow, okay. What's your favorite chord? Where, where, where do you go to? Where's your default chord? Like when you start right to here. play? So I started learning piano and I was like, this is way too hard and I got a guitar. And I was like, at least I could be able to like bring my guitar everywhere and start playing. And then two years after playing guitar, I, I found my way back here and was like, this is actually a very awesome instrument. I so how much, how much piano playing do you do on the, on the album? Um, I, I play on a lot of the records. Most of the stuff, guitar wise and piano stuff, uh, is spit, split between kind of me and Teddy. This piano? This one, yeah, and that one. That mm. one actually a lot more because mm. of the beautiful mm. like silk thing that we had. But mm. yeah, mm. I gotta now I gotta go and learn how to play all the songs. Yeah, and dude, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we got my signature in here. Oh, you did? Who this was the coolest thing when you walk into the studio. So I, I signed it twice. I first signed it, and then I was like, nobody is gonna know what that <laughs> so even you means. You double down. That looks like <laughs> that looks like sma. <laughs> And so I was like, just write your name, dude. Don't even try with the signature. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Who else is on here? We got, we got Ryan Tedders here. Mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx, we got Logics over here. Oh, Chance, yeah. Chance the Rapper. That's the best one. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. <laughs> just the rapper. That album, that album was a, one of the biggest. Do you, do you know him, you met him? I, I met him once or twice and, uh, oh man, the, I was upset. That was, that was the second I was like, okay, I want to start creating stuff that's a little more on the urban side. Yeah. Lyrically, like same drugs and even just the feel. Yeah. I was chasing that the whole album. This organ mm -hmm. definitely made the record on like multiple songs. This was like our glue. Whenever we were like, everything's kind of sounding not together. Mm. How do we glue all the instruments together? Yeah. I would just pick Teddy, got to get on the organ. But I think, I, I don't know if I'm wrong, but Chris Martin from Coldplay always works out of here. Right. And uh, I think this organ is like a lot of the stuff you hear on Coldplay. It actually might be the organ on Fix You. I don't know if that's true. What? But it, but it might be. And do you know Chris? Actually, don't. I do know Chris now. Here, I actually met him. Right. Scott and Teddy and Ryan Tedder were working. And then really kind of halfway through the demo of a song, like in the, in the, in the kind of roughest point where everything, all the levels are crazy and you're mm. like, I can't show anyone. Chris Martin just comes <laughs> flying down. <laughs> Just flying down, and he's like all sweaty, and I'm like, and we're like, what's up, man? Like, he's like, because oh, he's yeah. already been for a surf and a run. He was, hi he was hiking the mountain. Right. He's yeah. like, oh, I was just hiking the mountain over there. Yeah. And I, at this point, I was like, I'm obviously the biggest fan of Chris, and he just walked in, and he's like, why don't you play me what you got? And I was like, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> guess we'll play you what I got. So I played it for him, and then he loved it. I remember, and then he was gone. That was it. Like magic. Like he just like came in and was like, let's hear the music. And he's like, all right, I, I'll see you later. That's going to win awards. See, like, I, think that's Chris, he... <laughs> I think Chris has reached that level like that people like Paul McCartney reach and people who realize that when they walk in the room, music fans look to them and, and totally. with it, through a whole different lens. 100%. And that lens of Kanye, that lens of just like, oh my God, like yeah. you're Kanye. And I think that people like that realize that in order to um, preserve that relationship that you have with them as a fan and also- They to, have to preserve it, yeah. They have to preserve it, uh -huh. so don't hang about. <clears throat> totally. You but know? then there's some people like Mayer, John Mayer, who is like, to me, like the god of music. And uh, <laughs> he's gonna hear that and laugh. Um, but, then I met him and I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't like mess up the way I, I see him musically. Yeah. And if anything, it actually just enhance it. What's he like? He's he's the best, honestly. Yeah. I just I just love him because he has just the funniest like look on life and like really great perspective. That's what I mean. Doesn't like, take he... it too seriously. Yeah. He doesn't take himself too seriously, which is really nice. Um, the best thing ever was was realizing that behind every great thing he did was actual greatness. <laughs> Sean, you call him mayor. Now, if you've, you've got an idol, you don't call people by their last yeah, name as a don't. first yeah, name unless you know them well enough to yeah. be able to tell a story. Yeah. So I want your best mayor story that you have. What is my best mayor story? I don't want, well, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know mayor really well at this point, but I was touring and I think I was in Colorado. And uh, he's like, hey, I'm in town. I was like, cool, let's catch up to grab a coffee. And I, and I meet him in a hotel lobby and we're just drinking coffee and talking. And he's like, hey, is it cool if, if uh, my friend comes down and says hi. I'm like, of course, absolutely no problem. And I turn around and Dave Chappelle <laughs> walks in. Standard. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, and then I just find myself like, like, I guess I was 17 at the point, just like sitting with Dave Chappelle and John Mayer. They're both just like giving me all this great life, you know, talk. And I was like, wow, this is, this is it. This is the dream. 